If you're working with passive filters, amplifiers, or power supplies where you need to characterize the control loop in the frequency domain, frequency response uh, analysis measurements are really important. Hi, I'm Johnny Hancock from Keysight Technologies. I'm the product manager for Keysight's InfiniVision series oscilloscopes. Today, I'd like to show you some enhancements we've made to our frequency response analysis capability in the InfiniVision series oscilloscopes. Now, a few years ago, we were the first oscilloscope company to introduce frequency response analysis or gain and phase Bode plots in an oscilloscope. Since that time, we've made some enhancements based on customer feedback, and that's what I'd like to show you today, some of the enhancements. Now, if you're not familiar with frequency response measurements, click on the URL above, and we have a, a video on our Keysight Labs YouTube channel that goes through some of the basics of frequency response analysis. Let's begin with the setup menu for what the parameters you set up to run a test. Uh, one thing you told us was you needed a lower start frequency. So now we've lowered it down to 10 hertz. But for the test I'm going to run in a few minutes, let's start it at 20 hertz. Another thing was you told us you needed more points. You needed higher frequency resolution. We used to be able to set it points per decade up to 100 points per decade. We've changed it to total points all the way up to 1,000 points and it can be across any frequency span. So you could run a thousand points across a very narrow frequency band and get extremely high frequency resolution. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm not gonna run the full 1000 points. I'm just gonna do a hundred points across this frequency span. And let me change my test amplitude. And we're gonna run a test. I've got my probes connected to a bandpass filter. It's a fairly narrow bandpass filter, something you might see in, say, a, an audio application, except the frequency is above the audio band. So let's run a test, then I'll show you the differences in the results display window. So here's the results of that test on that bandpass filter. You can see we started out around minus 90 dB, so we got very good dynamic range. Some of the enhancements we've made for you, we have fine grid lines now between the decades, and we have more explicit controls for rescaling the results as well as making measurements. Uh, the way you used to control the markers, and you still can, is you just drag your finger in that area. But we found you really didn't have very fine control. So we added a knob control for the markers. And now you have very fine control. So I'm going to try to measure what is the frequency of the peak of that amplifier. And it's about 17.4 kilohertz. Now we don't have very good resolution there. And we're going to run another test around a narrow band in just a minute. You can also control gain and phase. Let's go to gain. And you can tr control the offset. And you can do the same thing with phase. It used to be somewhat hidden, and you can still do it. You can control it by dragging up and down, but you don't have as fine a control if you're looking for a, a set number of dB per decade. Now, you can also, what's new is Let's say I want to rescale the frequency. Let's look at that very narrow peak. And now let's go back to gain and zoom in on that a little more. You can see here, there's not a lot of resolution around that. So what we can do now, let's go back and run another test. Let me take a look here. So let's run a test from about 10 kilohertz up to 30 kilohertz and get very high resolution. So I'm gonna change this to 10 kilohertz, 30 kilohertz. So this is a very narrow sweep and let's do 100 points again. I, I could do a thousand points.
So now you can see, let's control our markers, we have very good resolution around the peak of this filter. And I can see the peak now is measuring around 18.3 kilohertz. Much more accurate measurement than one before because now I can get higher frequency resolution by running as many points as I want up to a thousand across any frequency span. So if you're working with amplifiers, filters, switch mode power supplies, and you need to do frequency response analysis measurements, you can see now with the enhancements that we've made based on your feedback, you can now get much higher frequency resolution in order to characterize your devices. And if you already own an InfiniVision X-Series oscilloscope, you can download the latest firmware and get these enhancements at no charge. If you have any questions, be sure to put them in the comments and stay up to date on oscilloscope tips and tricks by subscribing to our YouTube channel and following us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Simplify. <laughs>